the living lettuce and basil and other wonderful greens that we've been getting at the market come from right down the road on 70 outside of Lone Oak at Miller Aquaponics. We're excited to learn a lot more about what goes on before it gets to the market. My name's Dan Miller with Miller Aquaponics in Lone Oak, Arkansas. We're a family owned business where we originally started out as a fish farm and now we're kind of veering off into the aquaponics slash hydroponics area. It's a fairly unique deal that we're probably one of the only fish farms right now that is, is running one of these type systems. Seth, it's been really cool to see the family business and an industry that I really didn't know was that big of a deal. So uh, fisheries in Arkansas. That's right, aquaculture. One of the leading producers of bait fish in the nation, probably the leading producer of bait fish. We raise the fathead minnows, mainly it's a forage-based fish. It feeds the bluegill mainly. Bluegill love fathead minnows. Basically any fish that will eat another fish will eat a minnow. Yeah. So um, that's kind of the base for every pond that is out there. You, you really need that base, forage base. And then y'all added a whole nother layer of the industry that's already here. And then with some innovation, started growing plants. Growing plants. Will you show me what's going on over there, how we connect that? Let's do it. This giant green egg thing is where all the magic happens that connects what you have going on to growing food. What is this? This is a polygeyser. This is basically a big bead filter that filters the fish solids from the water. It catches the solids with these beads. Water starts in the well. We pull the water out of the ground. It falls through a series of screens, basically oxidizing iron that's in the water solidifies it into iron oxide that is removed with the sand filter. And then we pump that water on our fish and we flush our fish with the well water. And normally it would just go right out into the ditch. But now we bring it into here, into our pit. We collect the solids in this filter. It cleans the water and we send it back into our fish. So it's a recirculating system now instead of just a conventional fish farm flushing well water right down the ditch. That conserves a lot it of water. It conserves a lot of water. And the well runs basically all the time whenever we have fish up. So now we're actually allowed to shut the well down and recirculate water that we already have up on the surface that's already been cleaned and potentially saving money and water and growing plants as well. So all of the fish waste, after it's been processed through what you're doing, ends up coming over here? Right. And so how do the plants utilize that? Well, when it goes through our polygeyser, there's a heterotrophic bacteria in there that converts the nitrates to nitrites and ammonia, basically. And that is fertilizer. So we flush it through the system about every week. We're producing about 170 gallons roughly. The plants then, they, can I pull this up? Sure. Okay. So the plants take the waste, filter it through here. As it comes through the other end, it'll go into a pit tank down there and it actually is crystal clear. Crystal clear. And then this gives us some good eating. Good eating. So at the market, we've been carrying a lot of the living lettuce because it seems to hold up a whole lot better. Keep those roots wet. That's all you gotta and do. And they stay alive. Right. So one of the benefits in, in researching all this is you extend the seasoning out significantly. Oh yeah. You can grow a whole lot more in a smaller area. And we can grow 3,000 heads of lettuce in this small 50 by 20 bed. And we have a 100 by 20 bed over there. So we can grow a lot of produce. That's a lot of sense. It's a lot of produce. Well, Stan, I, I've loved working with y'all. I appreciate the, the wonderful addition y'all have been to the market and uh, look forward to, to continue to grow. Absolutely. Absolutely.